If you are new to my channel, my name is Ohema. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey, <clears throat> hey. <laughs> you may not know this, but Juvia Space actually launched new blushes. When Juvia Space launches a product, you know that it's going to be giving the dark skinned girls all the feels. This time they launched liquid blushes. I want to say cream blushes, but on the website they're described as liquid blushes. So we're just going to say liquid blushes. Okay, so I went on the website and I picked up five shades to try out so that we can see whether or not we want to go ahead and try another few. But before we jump into the video, all the products I will be trying today will be listed right here. So definitely click that view products tag. It's going to pull up a list of the blushes. If you shop from Juvia's Place website, go ahead and use my code OHEMA at checkout. It is not an affiliate code, but it does give you a discount. Let's go ahead and jump into these blushes because I really want to see what they look like on the skin. This is, this is the Juvia's Place Blushed Liquid Blush. They retail for $16. There are 12 shades. So they claim to be buildable, pigmented, radiant, and blendable. I'm going to blend them on my bare skin so we can see what the shades look like. And then I'm going to pick my favorite to actually put over makeup. Because once I put it over makeup, I can only try two three at the most okay this is what the packaging looks like the packaging shows you what the color is going to be like on the outside it has the name of the product on the top of it and the actual product looks like a classic juvia's place packaging i just picked these blushes based on the pictures that i saw and with that it looks like i picked four orange shades but there's still like four different tones of orange I probably have to eliminate this one, but I will try just to see what it looks like. I might also have to eliminate this one and only go in with these three shades. They look different. This is deeper than this one, and I'm okay with that. It all depends on how it blends out on the skin. So I'm going to start out first with Lily Rose. It has a very gorgeous tone to it. I really like the tone of it. It might give me like a very subtle vibe. So Lily Love is described as rich and deep bronzed, warm, earthy tones. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I should keep... It is so pigmented. It looks almost neon wow <laughs> listen the one thing one thing juvia's place will do is give you the colors okay okay i'm not upset that i tried this shade it, it initially like in the packaging i didn't think it would give me this kind of a look but girl this is giving me natural glow from within if when i blush you could see it i feel like this is the color that you would see it is a very natural it almost doesn't show up but you can tell on my face that i have something on you definitely have to set it with something if you have oily skin like i do because it's like transferred onto my finger it's dry skin friendly i want to build it up just a little bit it's definitely oil it's definitely dry girl friendly but you can also set it with your setting powder a translucent setting powder <laughs> When Juvia's Place says it's buildable, they mean that you can make it so intense that you can see it from space. This is intense, okay? I would rather wear it the first way that I showed you, where I just did two lines and I blended it in and it gives me a gorgeous blush from within type of look. That will be perfect for when you don't want to put any makeup on, but you still want to have that blush and mascara kind of look. I think that's the vibes I'm getting from Lily Love. Definitely excited that I picked it up. I'm going to keep it. I almost didn't use it because of the tone on it, but I'm glad that I did. I'm not upset with it. Next, I'm going to swatch Perky Poppy. And Perky Poppy is described as deep earthy tone i'm gonna do two lines on the face oh my god this shade looks neon okay okay i'm just gonna blend it in <sighs> have you ever seen me swatch a liquid cream blush that has looked like this it says it's buildable okay but do you think after this i'm gonna want to build it up to anything like what <laughs> 
this is so pretty. It is intense. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like you have to proceed with extreme caution. This is what tells you that any dark skin makeup lover out there will be able to use this product and it will show up on their skin. It also tells you that any pale makeup lover will be able to use this and it's gonna show up on their skin. You just have to make sure to use a very, very light hand. Wow. So next we're gonna go into Dahlia and Dahlia claims to be a burnt red tone. I feel like on the website this is the most red one and that's why I picked it up. This is intense pigment right here. And I feel like because it's radiant, you can move it on the skin, on bare skin that is, and it will still blend in. Wow. The one thing you will not catch Juvia Slays doing is skimping on pigment. I saw Nikkei try this and she looked so beautiful in it. So I wanted to go ahead and try it. This is the shade Sweet Berries. It is a purple toned blush. And listen, leave it to Juvia Slays to give us the blush that we all want in the pigment that we need it to be in so that we as a dark skin people can wear it too. It is pretty. I'm I'm like I just want to know what it looks like on, you know, like that's just that's just it. I just want to know what it looks like. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Actually blends in purple and looks purple. I am so excited to see what it looks like over makeup. The one thing that makes me step away from cream blushes or liquid blushes is the simple fact that when I put it over makeup, because of how deep my makeup tends to go, the blushes mix with the makeup and then they just disappear and it doesn't look good so i'm very excited to see what this is gonna look like the makeup industry just needs to learn from juvia's lease that's all i'm saying okay because they're out here killing it when they put out a product i know that it's gonna look good on every skin tone well, i know a lot of you love swatches so i went ahead and swatched the four shades that i will personally be using from the top we have lily love and lily love is going to be my everyday slight blush that's from the top so this is lily love perky poppy dahlia and of course last but not least we have sweet berries absolutely gorgeous shades okay but before i set my face i'm gonna try out the blushes and then i'll see what it looks like after i set it and see if, if i need to like zhuzh it up a little bit because it's a radiant finish blush i want to give it a chance to do its thing with all the other radiant products and then i'm going to set it just to see what it looks like i'm going in with sweet berries because sweet berries is the girl uh i'm gonna use a little bit Okay, I don't want to ruin it. I'm actually also going to be blending it out with the Juvia's Place Tapered Blending Brush. Ooh, you saw how little I put on. How long do you think it's going to take you to finish an entire tube of the Juvia's Place blush? I didn't even need to like replenish the blush. I was able to apply it all over my forehead and my cheek. But because I'm going to set it with powder, I want to go in with another tiny bit of it just to see okay let's blend it in this is a clean brush that i used by the way yeah we're gonna use dahlia and we're gonna use dahlia on the left side of my face mm, i think i'm just gonna use this much i probably overused it already i'm scared it's gonna be too much wow i'm blotting the brush off on my hand okay so i'm gonna do that so i can get rid of some of the products because i don't want it to overtake my face Wow. I feel like if you don't want to have an, a case of I overdid my blush, use a blending sponge, not a brush. That way your sponge will absorb a little bit of your blush. I really like, I really, really, really love this purple blush. I have to take a second here to talk about a product. The thing about what my face looks like right now is that I used a very deep foundation. I have concealer on and still you can see that the blush is showing up on my face. I said initially that the reason why I stay away from liquid blushes is only because of how it just disappears into my skin and doesn't show up on my face after I apply my foundation, my concealer, and all that good stuff. That's why I stay away from liquid blushes. This one is not doing that. I wouldn't I wouldn't understand why I would buy a liquid blush only to have to set it with a powder blush. So I'm setting the foundation and everything with the MAC Invisible Powder. And I'm also setting my blush with the powder as well before I go in with my contour. You can see it mattified it 
but it didn't change the color of the product. It just changed it from being dewy to matte, okay? So if you don't want to go over it with a different type of blush, you can literally set it with your colorless powder. It will give me the matte look without actually taking over and taking away the blush to where I need to put a different blush on top of it. I like it. It's set. It looks good. This is it, not set, and I'm going to apply the powder over it right now so you can see. This is, this is what my skin is looking like after the setting powder. Okay, I'm gonna be using the Sephora Collection Makeup Setting Spray. I really like the setting spray. I like it. It looks really good. It, it, it does not look bad at all. It looks very natural, looks very subtle, and I'm here for it. You could definitely, definitely, definitely intensify this. So yeah, this is it for me showing you guys the Juvia's Place liquid blushes. And I'm very excited because for once, there is a liquid blush that I can blend over my foundation and my concealer that is pigmented enough that it doesn't get lost in all the brown that is my foundation concealer combo. If Juvia's Place does nothing at all, they will give us pigment. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you lots. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.